Welcome back to All Things Fun Hydrographics. Today we are back working on Project Bottomland Bateau. In this video we're going to be finishing up our transom, we're going to install everything and finally be done with the transom rebuild. Stick around, show you how we do it. If you enjoy watching hydro dipping videos, seeing really cool custom stuff being made, and you want to learn a thing or two along the way, make sure that you start right now by going below this video, hitting that subscribe button, and the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of our awesome weekly hydrographics videos. So if this is your first time checking out Project Bottomland Bateau, you are way behind in the video series. I'll leave a link right up here so that you can go watch the playlist all the way from the introduction video up to the point where we are now. We're doing a complete restoration on this boat. We're doing a ton of custom cool stuff. We're going to do Cerakote. We're going to do Hydrographics. going to have a crazy motor build. This is a series you do not want to miss. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to take our transom supports frame that we welded up a couple weeks ago. We're going to mount that on the boat. We're also going to install the wooden part of the transom. We're going to get everything done and tied up today on the transom, so we will be done with the transom after this video, I promise, because it has been taking forever. So before we get out there and actually start installing the transom, the first thing I need to do is get these cleaned up. Now what these are, these are like little knee braces that go from the floor of the boat up to the back part and actually bolt through the transom itself. I've already got one of them cleaned up. I need to get all the paint and corrosion off this other one. So I have a sandblaster. I'm going to use it, but you could easily do this with like a flat disc in just a little bit of time. So these things are done. I've hung them up on some part hangers. The only thing I need to do now is just get some paint on them. So I'm just going to use some regular black paint just to give them some protection. So we've got our wood transom, we'll go ahead and get it in place and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so I've got the wooden part of the transom in place. Next thing I need to do is secure it to the boat before we start installing the support system. So the only thing I had on handy that was stainless steel is these really long lag screws. So I'm just gonna put some of these screws in from the top just so I can make sure this thing is held in place really securely before we start drilling holes for the support system. That is exactly why I want to get this thing in place before I do anything else. It is not very secure in there. All right, so now that's secured in place, I'm going to clean everything up. We're in the middle of pollen season right now in Georgia, so I got pollen everywhere. I'm going to clean it up real good, and then we'll get to installing the support system. So to install our support system on the back of the transom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill straight through the support, I'm going to drill through the wood and out the back. We're going to secure everything with these two and a half inch stainless steel bolts. These are quarter 20 bolts. I'm going to put a stainless washer on the back side and we'll drill all the way through, put a washer on this side and a nut on the inside. I think for the top portion, I'm just going to do one on each end and then one a couple, maybe six inches in. I'm going to leave this space open for the clamping system for the motor that we're going to be installing on the boat. So I got a bunch of drill bits. I'm going to start small and work my way up. I'll let you know what size we ended up at, but I think it's going to be just a, right at a quarter of an inch. All right, so the first bolt is installed. I did drill this one in at kind of a funky angle, so I just have to make sure to pay attention for the rest of them that I'm drilling nice and straight. But I just got it snugged up on there. It's not really tight. I'll wait until I get all of them installed and then we'll tighten them all at one time. So let's get the rest of them done. do is actually go through on our holes on the side and rivet them into place so that we'll have the side supports actually connected to the boat. I've got these 3 16 inch by 3 quarter inch max grip closed end aluminum rivets. So we'll start from the inside and work our way around, get everything riveted together, and then we'll move on to the next step. So our next 
step is going to be to install our knee braces going from the floor up to here. I've already ground on the underside of the boat, so that's nice and clean. I've got these ground down. The only thing I need to do is clean it with some alcohol real good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some 3M around all the bolt holes. I'm using these round Phillips head bolts, hoping that it will not create too much drag on the bottom of the boat. So I just got a big washer. We'll fill the inside of the washer up real good with some of that 3M5200 stick them up through the bottom once we get the bottom bolted in place then I'll go ahead and drill my holes through the back side and I've got some more of those two and a half inch bolts we'll bolt those through and then we'll be close to getting done So the last thing we need to do is install these corner brackets that I've made for the corner of the boat and then we'll have the transom completely finished. What this is, is some aluminum angle. This is two inches by two inches and it's an eighth inch thick. It came in a big six foot long piece. I've cut it down to size. So for my transom, it's 18 inches from down here all the way up to the top. And we're gonna install it right over here. Now I've already done the one on the other side of the boat. I'm gonna take you up close, show you that so you can see all the hardware that we're gonna be using. And then I'll do this one so you can see the process. So what I've done is I've cleaned all the paint off the outside of the boat where these four bolts go through. And these are just quarter 20 by three quarter inch bolts. They're stainless steel. They've got a washer that goes on each side and a nut. So I'm basically taking this, filling this full of 3M on the outside, sticking it through the hole that I've drilled, goes through the boat, put another washer and another nut to hold this whole side in place. Now this side that actually screws into the transom is number 12, one and one half inch screws. These are pinhead stainless steel screws and I'm also adding a stainless steel washer on the back side of those. I drilled four holes, kind of spaced out, put two down here in the bottom, one in the middle, and then one way up here in the top. All right, so now that you've seen how this goes together, I'm gonna get to work on the other side and get it installed. done with the transom install yay i'm really happy with the way it turned out it was a long involved process it took a bunch of time but it was well worth it in the end because the transom is extremely sturdy now so what's up next for project bottomland bateau well first thing we're going to do is we're going to test a bunch of different paint strippers and find out what the best way to remove the paint off the boat is because like i said way back in the introduction video this boat has a ton of layers of paint on it we got to get all those off so once we get all the old paint off the boat, our next step is gonna be actually putting the new paint on the boat. I'm gonna take you step by step through the prep process, what we're gonna to do to paint, the equipment that we're gonna use. I'm gonna show you the stencil kit that I'm gonna to use to do the old school mossy oak bottom line on the inside and outside of the boat. And then once we're done painting, we're gonna move on to the slick bottom coating and then it will be time to finally reveal what motor is going on this thing. <laughs> I can't wait. As always, we appreciate everyone that helps support our YouTube channel. And if you want to support us as well, you can do so by visiting any of the affiliate links down in the description box below. Everything we've used in Project Bottomland Bateau, I've got an Amazon link for down in the description box. I've also got a 10% off coupon code for Freedom Loop. If you're interested in trying that, I'll leave that down in the description box below as well. 
So that's about a wrap for this video. Don't forget to stick around for the bloopers at the end. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you back here next week for another awesome hydrographics video, and then we'll be back to working on Project Bottom Line Bato the week after that. See you guys next week. In this video, we are going to, um, I should have practiced this before I tried it, because I don't know what the world I'm going to say. Welcome back to All Things for, uh, hi, Four of the bateau up and crazy right now. So I'm going to use some uh, Clorox wipes real quick just to clean everything up, because I don't want the boat to get coronavirus. Is it, is it too soon for coronavirus jokes? Oh well, you'll get over it. Welcome back to ATF Hydra. <coughs> In this video, we're going to be. Uh, I just. So our support system is bolted in. I, 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 uh, I, I, I did it. I did it. Yay! So these things go to the. Um, the, the floor to the to the the back the backy part the the backy part of the bateau you know whatever we appreciate everyone to help I hang them up in a paint booth we're just gonna put some black paint on them real quick just to give them a a uh... why am I doing this installed I'm just gonna kind of gonna kind of gotta what the hell is wrong with me today. And then we'll be back working on Project Bob. Uh, then we'll be back. Then we'll be back. How am I messing up and just keep on talking like it never happened? So I'm going to clean everything up real good, and then we'll get to stall. Get to stalling. We'll get to stalling. Place in store. In store. In store. Hey, everyone that helps support the channel, and if you want to support the channel, I said channel. Ch channel. I completely messed that up and just kept on talking.